Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Frost and Fire. Last episode was a pretty gnarly raid that we're still recovering from. And I think, I think that uh, we have to spend some time not only repairing our kill box, but then also preparing a bunch of uh, spare Plasteel mini turrets ready to be installed when the reactor raids kick off because we are going to need to have replacement uh, mini turrets ready to go quickly to keep the heavy hitting turrets, the auto cannon and the uranium slugs protected. So that is some projects that we're going to be working on. Uh, in terms of other projects, I also think that it's going to be important to add um, an arsenal of you know, maybe better sniper rifles to deal with these centipedes. Uh, Masterwork sniper rifles would be pretty, pretty critical to killing uh, centipedes as they have a uh, damage buff over the, you know, lower quality ones. Excellent and lower. So that might be something else we do. I was asked in the YouTube comments to show my wealth graph. So here it is. Now, if you take a look, most of the wealth buildup recently as you can see, it has been traced with the item wealth. Uh, so if I want to remove some item wealth, and let's say that I do, here is how I'd like to do it. I'm going to take all of the, or not all, but most of the corsets I've made and send them to the machinists uh, because the machinists there have the ability to be called in for military aid. So I'm going to trade corsets for military aid, essentially. And that will also lower my item wealth. This farm here, I'm going to switch over from cotton back to rice because we have a bit of a meal shortage and that's going to be a problem pretty soon. Another thing I'm going to need to do is some of the... Reapers came in with bio-coated weapons. They always have bio-coated weapons, but as a result, I'm going to want to uh, melt down their weapons. So we'll add it to a stockpile here. As you can see, the uh, pet food is dwindling. So the importance of planting more rice, pretty obvious. Now, Kauk is here for about another six days or so. Yeah, 5.9 days. We're going to try to be good guests for that duration. A lot of my turrets here have a lot of damage. So another thing that we're waiting on is just for the constructors like Phoenix Bash and JD to repair and replace turrets. Also to repair and replace the geothermal generator, which looks to be already uh, getting done now. And to repair and replace the missing walls in the monument structure. whole lot of projects now uh, the walls around this kill box here very damaged that's another thing that we're gonna have to attend to as well now it seems to me like the Imperial trade caravan that I called in is never gonna show I think because of temperature reasons I'm not gonna sweat it I mean if they don't show they don't show I don't care I would have liked for them to show but uh, apparently they're just very fussy Okay, still waiting on 10 more corsets. Storbeck and uh, Calc are helping to load those in. I'm sort of curious if I launched right now, 
31? Okay, let's do it all for a maximum reputation. I was curious how much reputation it would instantly give me with the current quantity that I would send. Looks to me like uh, some cooking is in order. Sorry, Raptor, I'm going to wake you up. We don't have any simple meals, so... You have the lovely job of making them for us. And there we go. Gift to machinists. And this should... It should be somewhat of a noticeable... Uh, drop in item value here. Because it was a lot of corsets. And we also have... You know, a lot of other things to give away as well. The, you know, art and things of that nature. Because if you take a look here, yeah, most, like I said, most of the wealth climb that I have here is items. So giving away items is going to help decrease my wealth and make it a little bit easier because the raids will, will be a little bit smaller. We're almost done replacing all of the turrets that exploded. Commissa is ready to get sent home. I'm going to switch weapons from sniper rifles to automatic rifles. But keep the sniper rifles close by and at the ready. Okay, Raptor. There seems to be more rice. I guess Bash was about to start cooking, but uh, I'll force Raptor into it. Because Bash is a constructor, and he's going to help to uh, repair the turrets that, that got damaged. Alright, Kamisa exited the map healthy. It gives me a plus 21 as an ally. That's great. We're still trying to underground material find with Raptor in order to supplement even more rare ores. I wouldn't mind finding a closer uranium. Going all the way out to here for uranium. A little tricky as it is pretty much the opposite corner of the map. Putting the person there uh, vulnerable and also there would be a long commute time. Gabe became inspired, and I think what I'm going to do is have him make some art. How much jade do I have? 167. I'll just have him make a small piece of art. With his inspiration. Oh, maybe not out of steel. I meant... I didn't do it, but I meant to have you use jade. There we go. So, these turrets still very heavily damaged. Means that the constructors have been working on other things. Looks like the northern monument box got repaired. Now all I need to do is uh, force the doors open so it doesn't take damage like it did before. Uh, Leth, I'm actually going to have you do that. We lost the geothermal generator pretty much because there was no clear path for raiders to get out of here, so they just cut one. They just smashed and bashed their way through. All right, so we got a raid of reapers and a forced weather from Bohm. Let me take a look at the forced weather before I have to deal with these reapers. Uh, Bohm wants to force a rainy thunderstorm for 5.2 days. 
Uh, sure. I will do it for honor for Storbeck. I guess I don't. I don't know. Raider Reapers got thirty-one and thirty-four, and they are preparing well. So unlike last time, where I didn't try to actively shell them, whether that be a mistake or not, hey everybody, me, for me, I I feel like uh, I feel like I have a little bit of PSD when it comes down to you know mortar shells. I don't think I really ever hit anything. But uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to wake up Bash. And actually, you know what I'll do? Even better. Let's create a new zone here. And paint it here. And move. Well, it's three in the morning. But Bash is awake. Bash, are you headed to sleep or are you awake for the day? Yeah, you're awake for the day. So as soon as you eat your meal. No, no, no. As soon as you eat your meal. I'm going to send you over there to repair. Uh, Gabe and Leth, Raptor and Hippie, man those mortars. We are going to try to shell as well. So there's the forest weather. All right, Mr. Bash, you are going to go to area one to try to force you to repair as much as you can. So there's the reward for um, the forced weather. So there's four glitter world medicine that is in limbo out there, but that's not that big of a deal. All right. Please hit. Okay, we hurt one of them. <laughs> oh, I hate, hate, hate mortars. Uh, let's see. JD, you also are going to go to Area 1 to repair. And then Phoenix, I'm going to wake you up a little early and do the same with you. I want to try to get as much of this repaired as possible before we have Reapers come flooding in. So here comes the new volley. One of the shells did some damage. The rest of the shells were a bust. Okay, well, could be worse. JD, what are you doing? Repairing the wall from in there? Okay, uh, Phoenix, you go to area one. Try to help repair as well. Because these Reapers are coming in soon. If I have to micromanage uh, my repair guys, that's fine. Looks like we did a pretty good job volleying up here. So every single one up here is, uh, as you can see, melee. Are they all melee down here too? Is this like a full brawl squall squad? Oh god, they're all brawlers. Oh lord. Okay, well, we'll see if the juggling works that I had set up. There's also the possibility to offer up a valid target as lure. Uh, Storbeck, how do you feel about being a lure? So I'm going to have Storbeck stand there. Bash, you're going to close this door. And it seems like I timed it right. So everybody that's here, uh, hold fire. Mr. Bash. I don't actually think that closing that door is the right call. So I'm going to open that back up. I think they're just going to destroy everything if they the doors closed. So all of you guys come up for some repairing. So here they come. Uh, another thing I could do, which might be helpful, uh, 
Here, Storbeck come down is to call in aid because they are all brawlers. So being that they are all brawlers, um, the ranged aid that it can call in can be useful and helpful. Bash, there's no time to finish that. Head on back. So taking a look at these turrets, maybe try to repair that one. The rest of these turrets are like not great, not terrible. Yeah, these are repaired. Not so much rearmed, but repaired. Repair, repair, repair. Okay, and then all of the other tur turrets get spun up. Uh, JD, you are not a... You don't have a shield belt. I guess is the uh, easiest way to say it. Animals, get inside. And then, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call on uh, aid... from my allies with both Raptor and Storbeck to try to help out. And here they come. Alright, Raptor. Call aid. Trooper squad. And Storbeck. Call aid. Trooper squad. Alright, GD, get to cover. It's not safe if you don't have a shield belt. And now it's uh, essentially just make sure that I don't uh, power anything. I, I power everything down that needs powered down. I don't know what some of these aid people are doing, and they're like totally making sure that they die. Um, this could turn on. Who's breaking? Hippie? Alright, Storeback and JD, you can choke up a bit. Off and off and off. Uh, so another thing I could do is let's try to turn on the back turrets. It's not going to work perfectly, but it will draw some of these backwards uh, alleviating pressure on the front all right that one's gone that wall's gonna break here. Let's get off, off, off. Everything back here, off. Oh boy. Alright, so we've only lost two of them so far. Looks like they're done smashing back there. So as you can see, I could turn it on briefly and just use it as bait. And then, it, unfortunately, these things do so much damage. Yeah, that even if I immediately turn them off, it's like kind of too late, which is too bump. Too bad. All right, they're fleeing. I don't blame you. Oh, come on, that was off. The th <laughs> A little exacerbated. Uh, the, the kicker here, of course, is I had already said and established that... Um, that essentially my weakness here is brawlers and then i get a 100 percent all brawler raid from the reapers it just seems so brutal ah oh, that one's broke anyway i think all my uranium mini turrets are now officially gone 
I don't believe I have any left. But we're almost done with these, uh, this group here. Little uh, dangerous to brawl these guys, given their um, weapon damage. All right, there we go. Uh, we're we're basically through now. All right, Bash and Phoenix, you can start repairing. Oh, Hummet, hello. I didn't see you down there. Because the remaining uh, Reapers are already injured or something. Yeah, let's just skip you back. Well, that was a heck of a fight, and that's going to be a lot of steel to replace. Uh, Raptor, I suppose you can already get started. Let's put the butchering table here. And get you to start butchering. So I guess one of them decided to go through this wall and th through there. And then, despite the door being open, they decided to bash that open too. Because they're Reapers, they're psychotic. But we'll wait here for the remaining ones. Uh, as far as schedule goes, yeah, let's unrestrict everybody. And get, uh, get fixin'. Broke my own wall with bullets. So there's what? Two left? Jurgen and Horus. Horus is dead. Alright, Mr. Raptor. You are consuming a simple meal. Yeah, you're hungry. Uh, actually, just come out here and consume a pack of survival meal so that you can start uh, butchering sooner. Jurgen, what are you doing? We're all waiting on you. Don't keep us waiting. Taking a look at numbers for enemies. Yep, that is clear. Full clear. Now, we didn't use any of the uranium slugs, but um, my goodness, these brawlers did a lot of damage. At this point, I feel like if I turned on the reactor for the reactor raids, I'm not even sure I would notice. Wouldn't be a noticeable difference from the current uh, s absolute slaughter that I'm, I'm suffering versus the reactor raids. Might be a bit of an exaggeration, but I do feel like that's somewhat true. Let's uh, plant some more smoke leaf in these benches here that haven't been planted in yet. To Because uh, we're running out of smoke leaf joints. At least my geothermal generator didn't get broken. So there's that. Alright, pet food is real low. So I am going to put rice back into the hoppers. Raptor's starting to get heat stroke. Great. All right, one thing that is going to be important is to repair this limestone wall. Very critical compared to all the other repairs because this allows enemies to bypass our uh, kill box. And eight human corpses have fallen. So, some people in the comments say, oh, yeah, why don't you just feed the human corpses to your pets? I realize that I could do that, but uh, as I apparently have to reiterate often, I'm trying to be a good ally. And as my attempt to be a good ally, uh, it also means that I 
don't want to do horrific things like feeding um, corpses of my friends to my pets. That would be, uh, shall we say, evil? So instead, I'm going to send them home via uh, transport pod. I'm happy that I brought them in, though. I think they served as a way to protect me a little bit more. Maybe they were cannon fodder. I don't know. Probably, but um, helpful cannon fodder. Cannon fodder that kept a lot of turrets alive that otherwise would have been broken. All right, Raptor, I'm going to let you go in a minute. Just want to get a few last rearmings. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're done. You're done. Our raptor can try to give a throne speech, I suppose. Now, all this, uh lovely steel that we're getting as a result of the butchering um, we can use to immediately put deadfall traps back, which is kind of convenient. As I'm sure you've noticed. Okay, uh, uranium mini turret, let's cancel this because we want a plastic one. And then the other uranium mini turret, it might be too late. Yeah, it's too late for that one. Oh well. I forgot about that one. Because we're obviously replacing them with uh, plastic ones. They're tougher, and it's a resource that I have in more reliable, replenishable quantities. That's a lot of flake. Apparently those uh, reapers know how to party. It's not quite the right hour for a throne speech, so I'm going to wait on that. Ooh, boom. Our bone dog meat. Almost called a boomalo. Let's go ahead straight away and get that hauled back to our kitchen before it spoils. And a high psychic drone. Uh, store back when you wake up, where the full hat. I bought it for this exact reason. My pets are almost out of food, so next person that goes for nutrient paste gets to make dog food. Or crab and gorilla food, I should say. So, Bash, that would be you. So, sign nutrient paste. Oh, darn it. I didn't get him in time. He ended up finishing his meal. Well, then the next next person. Which would be JD. I'm only going to make it into three stacks. Uh, so that if we do have a power shortage or something like that, it's not too much that wastes. Storbeck, you are Psychic Drone 27 versus the 57 of Raptor. Raptor doesn't have one because he's just naturally happier. And then another thing I could do is have Raptor give a throne speech to try to offset more of the mood. So I'll attempt that now. Oh, boy. Hi, Met Cluster. So I suppose while I do that, I create an avoid zone. Oh, this looks nasty. This looks nasty. 
Oh boy. Animals, yeah, just stay inside. So we have got an EMI Dynamo. Oh dear lord. An EMI Dynamo. This thing makes scythers. There is nine centipedes guarding this. Um, what about mortar shields? So there's a bunch of mech drop beacons, which I can only assume will drop even more mechs on me. So I think the plan here is to wait the max amount of time. Now what happens, the EMI Dynamo will knock out my power in about th four days when it spins on. So I, I want to wait pretty much max time um, so that I can do the most repairs possible in the kill box because my kill box is not ready for a uh, mech cluster of that magnitude. Uh, everybody's in attendance at the throne speech. Storbeck, please don't lose your mind. Oh, well, that's awkward. No, no, no. JD, JD, where are you going? Inspirational speech, and most of you weren't even a part of it. Because you walked off because of one stupid fire. Who actually got inspired? Oh, no. Hippie, Phoenix. Some people did. Like, half the people did. That's an unfortunate, uh, unfortunate result of that speech. The best speech that we gave and let's actually count the attendance. I'm actually curious. So one, um, two, Two people attended. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say about that. That's pretty terrible. All right, uh, Mr. Storbeck, you, sir, are going to recreate. Go have fun. Because I cannot have you losing your mind. And then, uh, JD, I'm going to say the same thing to you pure recreation schedule once you're up. Can't be having them have mental breaks when I have uh, a nasty mech cluster here. A lot of repair left here and then of course the hauling of the bodies and the butchering of the corpses. There's just a lot of stuff left that we have left to do. All right, Raptor, I'm going to have you butcher some more rather than uh, ground penetrate scan. All right, looks like Phoenix is starting to rebuild. Once all the uh, once all the deadfall traps are, are rebuilt, I will start repairing automatically, which will be nice. Whoa, Raptor almost just got hit by lightning. Hit the pack of survival mode right over next to him. Is he complaining that these guys aren't in stockpiles or something? I'm not entirely sure, but I can add them in stockpiles. Uh, but if these are stockpiles, they should be set to low. And then I'll also shrink it. Just so we don't have pull anything to it. Now let's get these corpses uh, loaded in before they rot. Rotted corpses going to have a lot worse of an effect on the mood than fresh ones. All 
Okay, ready to launch. The machinists are happy that I returned corpses. Actually, what's funny about that is they aren't... They... Oh, well. Uh, those weren't machinists. They were obviously United Cities, but there are no United City cities uh, in range, so... We'll just ignore the fact that I just sent the machinists some random corpses that... You know... Whatever. Still happy I sent it. Let's get some additional high explosive shells. And Gabe, make sure that the, okay, these are all loaded up because we're gonna want to EMI dynamo drop uh, with mortars when it comes time. All right, the second drone is ending. I mean, Storbeck, you are free to swap helmets. Guest is unhappy. Because the negative psychic harmony of Raptor, but Raptor is going to be very, very happy as soon as he wakes up, so that's kind of moot. Was an excellent one. Okay, that makes sense. All right. I'm going to uh, increase my yeah, high explosive shell count up to 50 from the 30 that I had previously. I have a two and a half days for the dynamo. Another thing I could do is salvo it with Raptor. But uh, I, I prefer to just wait as long as I can and try to do as much repairs as I'm able um, to the kill box here. So in fact, with that in mind, uh, JD, I'm going to have you stop machining so that you can be used for uh, construction pro processes. Same with uh, Phoenix and Bash. I want them making sure that we repair the kill box as much as possible. All right, so this butcher table is done. Don't see any more reapers. Well, let's do a quick analysis. Okay, yeah, we, we most certainly have not repaired the uh, kill box yet. No doubt about that. In fact, there's even some turrets left to be fixed up. There we go. Now I can hear the repairs going. This forced weather getting a little annoying because it keeps hitting things, triggering fires everywhere. Which is funny because I have fire foam poppers, but of course they're not going to trigger from far flung fires. Looks like Bash is doing a really good job. Still, the frontline turrets quite damaged, and then I think some back here are, yeah, 11%, 30. All those are really badly damaged. And then two of these are badly damaged. Bit of a lengthy process. All right, Calc, your mood should be going back up. It says you're trapped underground. Um, let's see here. So the stay inside zone, I'm going to increase like that, so that we can play a uh, horseshoe pin. And a raid of reapers. Where are they landing? Oh, you know what? Okay, uh, there's a unique opportunity here that I have to take now. Don't hold fire. Aim for that. So, let's hop on. Raptor. You're gonna get heat stroke, so not raptor. Uh, Calc. Put that took away. Uh, Phoenix and Gabe. I 
I want to wake it up as soon as I can, so I'm just going to start shooting without even prepping much. I know that leaves uh, this eastern turret's not yet repaired, um, but uh, the opportunity to have the Reapers and the mechs duke it out works for me. So here's all the mech drop reinforcements. And then uh, who can I get to store back? You hop on this last mortar. So all the mortars are going to be aiming for the EMI. Because the EMI is definitely the nastiest. Uh, some of these mechs there are most assuredly coming into my kill box. So given that they have valid targets, I'm actually going to uh, close my front door. Because these mechs should turn around and go fight Reapers if I, uh, if I shut the door. I hope. Hope my math is right. We'll see. Everybody now should be a stay fortified zone. Going outside is uh, really out of the question now that there's massive fight going on. And I don't know. They're kind of evenly matched. I gotta say, the uh, the Reapers and the Mechs definitely taking one another out. Yep, and here we go. The uh, the mechs that were going to come into the kill box have since turned around because they're... Essentially what happened was when they woke up, they were just like, all right, where is there a valid target for me to fight? And because my door was open, I was a valid target. So as soon as I closed the door, I removed myself from the target list and they just retargeted. So it works for me. Stay away from me. In fact, it almost looks like the uh, Reapers are going to win. Also, of all of the shells that I've sent, only a single one has hit the DM EMI so far. Yep, only one so far. I suppose that's fine, because what it could do, if pressed, is um, brawl it from this direction. The, uh, the turret won't see it. I'm going to have them all stop. Actually... Uh, hold. I'm gonna have, uh, Storbeck reload them all, but not actually fire. Whoa, something else is happening? Lulu's insects. So, uh, insect hive quest. Lulu wants to join at the cost of 85 hives. I'm sorry, Lulu, but that's insane. Yeah, this is this was pretty evenly matched, and I have two days for them to duke it out, and then for me to be able to, uh, remove the EMI before I lose power. And because I rushed it, it gave me the opportunity to essentially repair everything that needed repair. At least everything that was uh, mission critical. Storbex loading up the last mortar. And Lulu, yeah, I'm going to say no. 85 insect hives. Not only would that be a nasty fight, but then the... Uh, resulting insect jelly would be absurd. It would uh, kick my colony wealth up far higher than I'd want it to be, given that I can't get trade caravans to even show up here. So what do I need money for, right? Who's heat stroking? Bash and Leth. Only initial. I don't think it's not yet time to put away the uh, cataphract helmets. So the mech's won. Uh, soundly, I guess? Now the worry is, what are the mechs gonna do? Are they gonna get aggressive and try to kill me? Yeah, I think they are. Okay, uh, I'm pausing the game for a second. Everybody here? Rally? Grab rifles.
and prepare for mechanoids. Raptor, uh, you're going to have to come out here. In fact, um, let's throw a cowboy hat on you so that you can maybe berserk them. Yeah, they're all aggressive. Phoenix Bash, come on out here too. You're going to smash the some of these mechs manually. And then I've tapped everybody at this point, right? Yeah. All right, Gabe Leth. Because Calc, Calc's staying out of this. Alright, Raptor, you're protected to 146. That's about ambient. Should be alright. And a shuttle arrived for Calc. Alright, well, you're not really in the best mood. Uh, but given all the raids I've had, I don't think I could have done better. So these little pikemen, I think, I'm just going to smash up as quick as I can. They're pretty inconsequential enemies. And Raptor, let's have you go mess with the... Oop, someone got hurt a little. Let's go mess with the... Uh, big mix. Okay, so they are down. Uh, at this point, we don't really need the old avoid zone. I'm going to have my brawlers get in position to get rid of the uh, EMI. Because all that's out here is an Inferno turret, I think. Oh no, there's a there's another mech down back there that I didn't really see. Guest unhappy. Well, guess what? Goodbye. And Storbeck is now a knight. Or will be uh, want to call in the favors. Yeah, maybe I give Storbeck the uh, nicer bedroom. There's definitely some uh, mechanoids coming marching one by one. Uh, then I'm going to try to avoid for the most part. There's a pikeman in here that broke a wall there. Copy. Oh, that's annoying. Bash, put him out. Uh... Let's get clear of the Inferno. And at this point... I am a little bit over time. I thought I could wrap this fight up before the end of the episode, but it seems I cannot. So I apologize for that. Uh, we are going to have to knight Storbeck next episode and kill the rest of this mech cluster next episode. Let me know what you think about the crazy influx of brawlers that have had to fight. If you have any extra tactics besides like um, roof fall traps and wooden wall IED type style, uh, let me know. I'm interested in what you have in mind. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell.